Hello everyone, this is Mohit and uh, in this uh, video series today uh, we will see how to customize the, this roots theme framework for our theme development. Now I am going to show uh, what our final uh, output will be after you watch this video. This is how the page would look. Uh, we will have a feature thumbnail, we will have the content here uh, and then we will have a sidebar. So just let me reset the settings and uh, I will show you the how to process it. Alright guys, uh, after you have set up your roots uh, theme, uh, this will uh, this is how your front page will, uh, will look like. You will have a static front page with this, uh, this content. Now uh, you will notice that there is no sidebar. So first of all what we will do, we will, uh, we will activate the sidebar on the front page. We will remove this uh, static front page and uh, move it to uh, the our old WordPress settings uh, where we can see all the posts on the front page and uh, we will try to uh, uh, configure the display format of our uh, posts on the front page. So first of all we need to go to the reading settings in the uh, in the WordPress dashboard and you need to <coughs> uh, select this option on the front page displays your latest post and if you will save the change you can see that you will have all your latest posts but your sidebar is still missing you need to go to config.php in config.php you can find a, a, a function which which say roots display sidebar now there is a array which uh, takes this uh, you can say a boolean variable uh, which uh, which uh, you can say is generated by wordpress for example in case of 404 page in case of front page these two pages 404 page and the front page will not display the sidebar so we'll remove this uh, variable from here and you can see that we will have sidebar displayed now this is uh, the archive uh, settings that is being loaded if you go to that index.php on your theme folder you will see that whenever your uh, is index page or the front page is being loaded it's loading the template part templates content and get post format now this is an index uh, page so we will be having in the templates folder only the content page so this is the page we need to modify let's create the format so first of all we will create a row a row is of 12 col columns in this uh, setting of bootstrap I will use column d4 and this is will be for featured image and 12 oh sorry 8 this is for now I can mark a command that this is just for your reference okay I will move this article here article start and article end this header and the excel and the md4 we can have get the now to display the thumbnail we will have this reference first of all we will add a thumbnail to our our theme our size to our theme and you can use this get the post thumbnail uh, function to re uh, retrieve the thumbnail of the file so get the post as you can see and copy this for your reference get the post thumbnail it will take three arguments first is the post id in case if i to the id and then the size let me say featured we will create this size featured image and any attribute for example i will add a class if you go uh, to the bottom of this uh, you will see that you can add at argument so I will just add a array and define the class to img massive so this is our page 
now we need to add this featured image as you, if you check the thumbnail we have a function called add image size and uh, it will take three arguments name width height and whether to crop or not so i will go to a init.php file and i have already created this uh, function add image size featured thumbnail with a size of 500 cross 300 this is the width height and then we 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 don't need to crop it so we can make it false so now i can all right it's done let me check okay unexpected on content.php line 5 Mm -hmm. okay there was an extra bracket and now we we can see that we have the thumbnail loaded this if you set it to true it will crop, crop this image so and with this and you can see true So now this is what it will look like. We can continue some customization in the next video and hopefully we can take it from there. Thanks very much for watching this video. You can post any comments if you like and I will reply to them. Thanks very much.